I'm a master of pharmacy and I've done my MBA later on artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, uh, certified licensing professional and independent director. And I'm on boards of a couple of companies as well as I've been worked in uh, companies like FDC, J&J, Janssen and MSD Merck. And uh, I've done a lot of uh, projects and various things. Currently I'm consultant, independent and uh, doing various things like merger acquisition, technology transfers, advising various companies to commercialize the products and also exports or imports. Okay, uh, it has been uh, you know a wonderful session actually uh, the last one that I attended uh, which was about biologics and uh, getting them in terms of technology and the digital pathway and the footprint that uh, biologics have and uh, it was very interesting for me to take the whole uh, agenda to a commercialization standpoint where finally how do we get the product to market to the patient with all the technology that's available from the participants and the exhibitors here. So that was a really nice session that we had. So recently I've written an article in one of the machinery manufacturers uh, association magazines and there are some more details there. Uh, but uh, what I essentially mentioned was that uh, in terms of uh, the human resource and that's where the digital comes in that how do we ensure that whatever we are operating at is consistent and robust as well as uh, from a GMP point of view very integrity of data is maintained. So that's the key foundation of any digitalization while in the commercial aspect digital is more like you know how we are getting making to use user friendly and things like that but the core in pharma industry is how we can replicate the training as well as the operation and the compliance using digital and increase the throughput also if you are in R&D, uh, manage the processes if you are in manufacturing and how we can manage the patient and customer uh, when you are in uh, the field.